Hey guys, welcome back. We haven't done a Pokemon card art spotlight artist spotlight in quite some time. So we're going to do one this week. We're going with Kawaiu. Hopefully pronouncing that right. I would assume that that's how you say it based on uh, the, the first and last name, which the nickname is generated from. So Kawaguchi Yuhei, Japanese, born in 1974, is a freelance digital digital illustrator and has been providing artwork for the Pokemon trading card game since the Rising Rivals expansion. He is often credited by his nickname Kawaiu in his work. Yuhei's style is very distinctive, brought about from his creative approach and dedication to each one of his illustrations. He creates subjects from scratch by using a graphic tablet in image editing software and applying hundreds of strokes to define base shapes, outlines, backgrounds, and final details. These result in often surreal, heavy, multi-layered images reminiscent of oil paintings. His images often focus on muscle tone, expression, or contrast and have themes influenced by cyberpunk or anime. The Pokemon he has portrayed are often very detailed, vibrant, and in dynamic positions, among which include the Pokemon C cards, uh, or champion cards, which he provided all the artwork for, with the exception of level X variants. For a list of cards he has illustrated, go here. We're going to go to uh, pkmncards.com. I'll put a link to uh, to all of the, the websites that we're taking a look at right now, um, so that... Uh, you guys can check them out if you need to, if you want to go through them yourself after the video. Yuhei also drew the promotional artwork, which includes booster pack art and theme deck art for all of the Heart Gold and Soul Silver expansions. So that's pretty wild. We got a link down below here to uh, his personal website. I'll provide a link to that as well if you guys want to check it out. Then we have the Twitter. Should I definitely be following. Check that out. If you have a chance, it's cool to see uh, the, the variety of different artwork uh, that is produced. Some of these are retweets, but uh, some of the artwork that is produced by the same artists that do the cards uh, to see their actual style, their art style transferred over into um, hopefully mostly appropriate stuff um, is, uh, is pretty cool. So there is Pokemon stuff there, but also uh, you can see a whole lot else that the, the artist has done. So, without further ado, let's get into the Pokemon cards. I want you guys, as always, to let me know down below if there's any cards that you didn't realize were done by this artist that you really like. If you have a favorite, anything like that, please let me know. Also, as always, if you have suggestions for who should be the the next Pokemon artist spotlighted in one of these videos, do uh, provide suggestions for that as well, even if you've made them already. Uh, if I see him more often than not, then I'll, I'll probably go with those next on the list. So um, if it's an artist that doesn't have that many cards, maybe we'll we'll combine. We'll do a combined uh, video with with two smaller artists. Uh, that's always always an option as well. But we've got to make sure we have some stuff to look through here. Um, I have to say that I absolutely love these SP uh, cards uh, from the, uh, the Diamond and Pearl Platinum era. Um, the Champions Pokemon... Uh, all the Team Galactic Pokemon and stuff like that. I think they're really awesome. I love the fact that they're associated, again, uh, in this case with Cynthia, uh, the champion, the C being for champion. Pretty cool little aspect to add to the card there. Almost reminds me of the like Gym Heroes, Gym Challenge uh, sets. Sort of like a little throwback to that. Now we have character rares that are sort of the same deal um, with a, a little less personalization since it's actually the... Uh, um, it doesn't have the actual designation that it's the Pokemon for the for the uh, the actual trainer. They're just in the artwork with the Pokemon. So you're gonna have to make that assumption. There's no like mechanics driven in around that. But uh, but yeah, you can see very distinct art style. Definitely one of my favorite artists. Um, and just some absolutely amazing work here. Getting a lot of Arceus stuff going on. We're looking at the cards in order of release date. Uh, this for alligator here is absolutely amazing. Again, because it's uh, even though they're they're non hollows, they're rares. Uh, they, this kind of can give you a deeper appreciation. I know when sets are released, I say this all the time, but when sets are released, I'm more excited to see the different artwork that hasn't been spoiled, like your commons, uncommons, rares, 
um, even hollows to some extent or, or less spoiled in advance. Everyone's sharing the the images of the, the most rare, the most sought after, the most expensive cards from the set. Um, but um, you gotta you gotta take a little while to uh, to appreciate the artwork and all of these uh, these other options here. Sometimes if you take a quick a quick look at this stuff, uh, you can really uh, really find some cool little hidden details, uh, etc. I love the uh, this is called Legends, but the the Heart Gold Soul Silver era when we had uh, the the stones, the evolutionary stones that were featured within the artwork itself. I think that's a pretty cool little little Easter egg kind of thing. Again, the the for alligator line definitely on point uh, with this artist. I think the art style lends really really well to this. This might be the the absolute coolest conkelder in existence. Um, this kind of, in my opinion, uh, if this was some sort of extended art, I think people would be more excited about this than the uh, the recent, uh, I guess, alternate art from the Pokemon Go set. Um, this is absolutely amazing. Definitely far from my favorite Pokemon, but that artwork is is really something. Um, again, I definitely have a, a huge preference uh, for Pokemon cards where the Pokemon is actually doing something. Uh, here, if there those rocks flying around, they're attacking. Uh, I guess Semi Sage Semi Sage is is dancing here. We've got Bear Tick who's like jumping into the water. Um, just really really cool. Uh, dynamic poses like they're actually doing attacks or they're doing something pretty pretty cool even the Garbodor here even though it doesn't look like he's moving he's got some kind of uh, I don't know if this is Garbotoxin coming out of his mouth which is pretty gross uh, but it's still <laughs> very very cool um, and yeah as mentioned in the uh, the Bulbapedia article definitely lends itself a little bit to like an oil painting uh, with the different strokes the brush strokes uh, that are used for the shading here. Really, really cool. This Dodrio looks like it's moving at uh, Mach 10. Super quick, super, super cool. You notice the backgrounds usually pretty fitting and dynamic. Uh, they don't look like they're... Um, some of the other ones are usually it's just like, okay, we'll slap a Pokemon on a background um, that doesn't necessarily... Maybe it was a background from something else and they, and they decided to use it. These look very intentional. The backgrounds for the Pokemon look like they didn't, they, they're they meant to be there. I mean, especially if you have scenes uh, where the background is interacting with the Pokemon itself. Like if you're, if you have one of the Pokemon, the uh, Fione that's in the water here, definitely, definitely uh, intentional. And you can definitely tell, even in um, the ones where the Pokemon is in a cave or something like that, the lighting for the background is actually applying itself correctly to the Pokemon, uh, which... Which is, I, I think, it makes a big difference. I think that's a, a big difference maker between new and old Pokemon cards. Uh, there's a lot more thought put into the background and the surrounding Pokemon and everything that's going on. Um, this is cool here. We, we have a little bit of a, a shared story. So I don't know if any of the other ones. We have the Empoleon. We have the Fione. I guess we have to check all of the... Uh, we'll check. Maybe on the next page we might see some more that correspond to this. I haven't looked through these in advance. Um, I have seen and can pretty well recognize when when there are Pokemon cards done by certain artists, but uh, we'll see here. Maybe there's some more surprises. This is cool um, because I definitely didn't realize that this had a shared shared artwork or story behind it. Suicune, uh, definitely a fan favorite Pokemon, looking extremely menacing here. We got the uh, water splash going on. All right, what else we got? Okay, we got the Trubbish and the Dump here, so it looks like we do have a continuation on that. Uh, and I think that's the three, the three corresponding cards here, uh, which is kind of a shame that all the Pokemon, we don't have a Wingle that matches, as far as I know. Gothitelle, the Meloetta, absolutely beautiful Meloetta artwork here. Uh, we got the, you can see the light coming in through the trees uh, from the front. Absolutely very intentional background, very beautiful card as a result. Meg Cargo, we got the Lunatone and the Soul Rock, which uh, with the matching artworks here, I'd always like to see uh, if there was ever some sort of um, full piece artwork that was chopped into pieces in order to make these sort of like a Southern Islands vibe would be really cool. Uh, to see the full artwork together um, would be would be really neat. I'm sure these probably did, or you know maybe they were just separate pieces that were to made to look uh look alike or, or match in some way skitty here out for a flower sniff 
Very cool. Very beautiful metapod here with the light coming in off it, off the trees. This is maybe the saddest waddle I've ever seen. He's got the, the flowers as well. Tornadus giving a big old palm fist. I don't know what this family is doing in the background here on the beach. Sort of an interesting artwork. Pidgeot, again, we got this very, very distinct, um, I guess, pattern or uh, a blurring to make it look like the, the Pidgeot's flying super fast in towards us here, towards the right. We got him on top. Nice action scene. You guys know. You guys know. You absolutely know. I love the uh, the scenes where there's an actual Pokemon battle taking place. It's always a good time. Reggie Gigas here. Um, I don't know what he's doing here. Me messing with the sign. Uh, just kind of crushing it. Oh, the two-third art cards. Gotta like those. Um, those are definitely underappreciated. I'm not sure exactly. I mean, some of them were commons and uncommons, so for that reason, people kind of ignored them. But um, I think it would be really cool if instead of reverses, we had something like this. If you had like an extended art version of the regular uh, common, uncommon, rare, hollow, whatever. And you just got to see more of the artwork around it. It would be a really neat new dynamic for them to add. We got the Team Aqua's Grimer. Pretty cool. Sneaking up here, being grimy. Uh, I don't know... Um, Hopefully not going to look up anyone's skirt from the sewers. Uh, apparently he's just coming down the stairs. I don't know. Oh, he came through the grate. Sneaky. And we got the little, we got the uh, the aqua member here. Uh, I guess it's like telling him to go through and sneak up on them. See what's going on. That's kind of neat. Then we got the uh, team aqua's sharpedo. A little bit terrifying. Deoxys. Heliolisk. It seems like this. Uh, there's been quite a few Dragonites that I can remember uh, done by this artist. Uh, we'll see some of them later. I think that their most recent cards that they've done have been some of the, the, the recent Dragonites. So we'll take a look at those to finish it off, I'm sure. Uh, Golurk. Beautiful. Again, these two-third art. I think, I think this is where the reverses should go, guys. Uh, even if they want to make it shiny on the top and the bottom and make this reverse, make the reverse a little bit more special because it's an extended version, something a little bit different, uh, something more to look forward to than just the basic shiny, shiny stuff on the uh, the card itself. Bricks in here, we got the Zoroark, stand-in Zoroark, Meganium, the Umbreon, love this. You get the moonlight coming in through. We got the shadow cast and exactly how they should be. Um, another, this is the re reprinted Metapod in Generations. I can't remember what this Umbreon was part of, but it's a promo, XY96. We got the Fates Collide pre-release promo. That's pretty cool. The Darkrai. Oh, these were good too. The XY promos with the full art on them. I think a little underappreciated. Especially beautiful with this one where, uh, we got the, we got the moon, we got the clouds coming in. Really, really nice. We got the white Q Rem, some Wormadams for Adam, the Blastoise EX. We got the uh, additional Pokemon. We got the Gyarados and the Vaporeon in there. Pretty cool. XY122 promo. Weavile. I like this Weavile. He's like scratching the rock. Tear away. Slashing. Slashing the rock. We got the black Q Rem, the Charmeleon. Beautiful Charmeleon. I've seen this a lot. We opened a ton of uh, Burning Shadows. So we're getting up into the uh, the Sun and Moon era here. Como O. Regirock. This is a really nice Regirock. Crimson Invasion. Crimson Invasion pre release promo. Two Regirocks uh, from one set, which is pretty cool that the. Uh, the pre-release version is a different artwork, but from the same artist. I like that a lot. Um, really cool lighting coming in here on the executes. There's, I'd like to see somebody with an execute binder. There's a lot of really different and, and neat artwork for execute. The Delphox. Celestila. The Diancy Prism Star. So again, it's nice to see. Uh, the different artists get different versions. So we had those like full art, two 
two third art uh, stuff from XY, and now that uh, they got the chance to do a Prism Star, which is really cool. The artwork usually doesn't really designate Prism Star from anything that I remember, uh, but cool that they they got a different artwork or rarity. Celements. So I think there's a lot of this stuff that it's pretty modern. Again, it's the generation before the one that was coming into an end here, so it's a little underappreciated for that reason. It's uh, it's no longer the cool new thing, but um, that just means it's a lot uh, less expensive to pick this stuff up. We get the Pikachu and Zekrom promo. Beautiful card, beautiful artwork. It's got a Pikachu. It's got a legendary in the form of Zekrom there. It's a tag team card. It's an alt tag team card, I guess, because it's a promo. Um, beautiful. Absolutely stunning um, and very affordable. I'm not sure how much those are now, but... Oh, we have the Dwebble here. Uh, this is cool. Uh, so we have from Unified Minds. I don't know if this was supposed to be... Did some of these get shifted into Hidden Fates? Um, but the uh, you had the legendary birds and the, the Pokemon that are kind of afraid of the legendary birds because they're probably going to get eaten. Sort of a, a weird and cool dynamic with that. Wishy-washy. Very cool. I like wishy-washy a lot. I think it's mostly to do with the fact that people don't like it. I like that it's like the underdog. I think it's cool that it has like the, it's the small fry Pokemon, but it can have like a school form where it, uh, it comes, comes together and forms a giant fish, uh, with all the little fish, a little, little bit of teamwork action going on. You know what I mean? We got the wish cash. I like this. I like the fact that He's got like the dirt and mud that's like spewing up off the bottom of the uh, the pond or lake or river or whatever he's in. Um, kind of little little mud mud sucker action. Talent flame, beautiful. Love this Kangaskhan. Absolutely amazing. You guys know that I'm gonna have to choose the Mawile as my favorite. There's some others that are really nice, but uh, this is definitely one of my favorite Mawile cards. Um, and did an absolute great job on it. Saw a lot of them because we opened a lot of battle styles. Uh, but, uh, but yeah. Ooh, the shelter too. This is a good one. I like this. Um, there's only so much you can do with a shelter, but uh, they got a little bit of, uh, like a whirlpool or something going on here. Uh, and they're kind of like getting, getting flushed away. Pretty cool. Tongue slap and wave splash. I don't think that's either of these abilities. I think that might be just what's going on when the water, uh, that's, that's, that's happening. All right, we got a cast form for Adam. We got the we got the Arceus, very beautiful Arceus V alt art, amazing card. Um, so again, another rarity that we're seeing from uh, from this artist, which is cool. Uh, nice to see a, a good variety of that going on. We got the Embryon V Max from the Trainer Gallery, also very beautiful card. Love the Trainer Gallery. I'm an absolute sucker for trainer gallery cards. I love the gym sets. I love the uh, the Pokemon that uh, the SP Pokemon. Um, anything that's like trainer related that kind of ties in the anime, the games, the characters from those with the Pokemon themselves is like a huge win in my book. But uh, here we have it, the last page. We got the Machamp. We got and we got a couple Dragonites here. We got the uh, the one from the Dragonite V from the Pogo set itself, and we have the the SWSH two thirty five promo, uh, which I think is in the the ball, the Dragonite ball um, promo as well here. So awesome artists. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, let me know down below if you have a favorite, if you have a couple favorites, who you want to see in the the next one of these. Um, it's always a good time going through here and uh, and taking a look, taking a taking a second. We don't even need the cards in front of us to appreciate the art. We can go through here and take a look. Um, and um, again, most of the stuff is pretty inexpensive, guys. Um, it's a great way. I know there's a lot of people that do uh, artist-related binders. It's a great way to uh, to enjoy the uh, the TCG without having to feel like you need to collect either everything uh, or that you need the most expensive stuff. There's lots of beautiful cards that you can pick up uh, for very cheap. Still give you that chase. You still got to hunt them down, uh, find them on various sites, see if you can do good deals on them, trade for them, whatever you got to do. But yeah, join the Discord. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.